Hey you guys, it's that time, pick a story. We're in one of the decks, or all of the decks could be a story or message for you. Um, so what I like to do is to hold each deck up to the camera to see if it's resonating with you. So starting with deck number one, could your story or message be here in deck number one? Or could your story or message be here in deck number two? Or, could your story or message be here in deck number three? All right, you don't have to overthink it. Um, sometimes if you just wanna say one, two, three and pick one, two, or three, <laughs> just do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin with deck no number one. Uh, we have the 10 of wands, the sun, We have the Queen of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Hierophant. Overall energy, we have the Eight of Cups, the Fool, and Temperance. All right, so the overall energy looks as if you guys are um, maybe walking away from a situation that was no longer good for you. Um, you made some sort of decision to let something go or move on. Um, something may have been too complicated. And it looks like, you know, maybe there was an attempt to try to make something work or try to make the best of a situation. Um... But at the end of the day, maybe something just didn't work out. So now you're deciding to walk away from it. Um, and it's, it's hard because I feel like whatever you're walking away from, you really still care about, but you had to detach. You had to act as if you didn't care. Um, you could be walking away from a person. You could be walking away from a job. Um but it, it's like you're having to let go or let loose. If you're walking away from a person, I almost feel like it uh, could either be an Aquarius or a Sagittarius or one of these two energies has walked away from you. If you're wondering how someone feels about you or what the issue was in a relationship, I feel like maybe someone just feels like something is missing, there's something lacking, um, it wasn't what they're looking for. You yourself might feel this way. You might feel um, a bit of emptiness from time to time and just not really knowing, you know, what it is that's lacking or missing, but you just know you need to find it or you haven't found it yet. Um, I feel too like... You guys are going to have like um, a lot of responsibilities this week. Uh, you might feel like you're carrying a heavy load or that you have a lot to do or maybe like you're the only one that's able to take care of certain things. Like, like there's help available, but you feel like you're the only one that knows what you're doing or you're the only one that can, you know, take care of whatever, do it right. So it's like you're taking on some sort of burden or responsibility. Now it also looks like something's going on where those of you that feel empty inside or lost, like you're trying to find yourself. It does seem like you're on a trail, you're on a path. Um, I feel like spirit has been leaving clues out for you to follow. And whatever journey that you're on, it's a difficult journey. But I also feel that the hardest part is almost over. Um, so I feel like if you could just keep pushing yourself, um, there's some, or there may be some sort of motivating force that's encouraging you to keep going or to keep pushing through. Also, if you were thinking or wondering about should you stay or should you go, uh, in a relationship or a job or whatever your situation is. Maybe you don't know if you should stay uh, in the same place that you're living in or if you should go. 
I feel like something's saying to hold on. Just hold on a little longer. Um, something's almost over. Um, and you're about to get some sort of a break. Emotionally, I feel like you guys are also holding on to um, a lot of emotions. Um, you feel emotionally burdened. I don't know if you are carrying the emotions of yourself along with other people's emotions. It's, it is like you're taking on a lot. Uh, you might be under a lot of pressure right now. Now, if this is not your energy, this could be the energy of someone around you. Yeah, there's um, someone's under a lot of emotional pressure. Um, I do feel that you're also in search of the truth. And you're going to find it. Those of you that are in search of the truth, you're going to find it. Whatever it is that you feel that you could not find, you're going to find it. Um, and you're going to be delighted. You're going to be very excited and happy. Um, there's going to be a sense of relief and a sense of victory and accomplishment. I feel like something's going to be a success. A success because you find what you're looking for. Um... So if you were in search of answers in regards to your spiritual path, I, I feel like you're going to find it. You're going to find your purpose. It looks like that's what you're trying to find. Um, you're lost because you don't know what your purpose is. Or you're lost because you don't know the purpose of a relationship. So especially, too, if you're connected with someone and it's telepathic and it's just this strong emotional pull that you have with someone, you're like, I don't understand what this connection is. I feel like you're going to have clarity about it. You're going to understand what the purpose is. So something that you couldn't figure out will be found or it's going to find you. Keep doing whatever it is you're doing. Um, I feel like there's no need to change the direction or the path that you're on because you're on the right path. And I, I also feel like something's going to be confirmed, too. Um, for some of you in a love situation, this you're being on you're being led towards a soulmate. Um, it's like you guys find each other. I feel that the both of you are going to feel like your best friends. You can have fun with this person. Just this energy of excitement is between you and another person. Um, you guys also may discover that you're on the same path or you're on the same journey. For some of you, you may be feeling fulfillment with an air sign. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But I feel like you're going to have clarity and the truth is going to come out too. If someone has been hiding the truth or been carrying that pressure, that burden, because they, they haven't been able to speak their truth, I feel like that's an opportunity coming up for you know someone to speak their truth. Mm, if you were wondering if someone was being honest with you, I would say yes. Yeah, I'm seeing uh, a lot of cards that indicate honesty. So if you were wondering how if someone was telling the truth, yes, they were telling the truth. Uh, you could double check. I feel like something's going to be confirmed or something has already been documented. That can go in a case for anything, too. Like if you were trying to prove something legally or if you needed some sort of paperwork to prove something, I feel like you're going to find it or you have it or it's, it's exactly what you need to get um, wherever you need to go um, or to get hired. Like maybe before you got hired, it's like we need proof of something or we need this. I feel like you're going to find it or have it. Um, I also feel that... There's a confession. Something feels like a confession. Like someone's like, okay, here's uh, the honest to God truth. 
So you might be confessing or someone could confess to you. I feel like faith is going to be restored too. Something happened where you had lost faith or you had given up. And I feel like your faith is going to be restored. Um, hmm. In a love situation, I see two people who are very different from each other, able to find a solution, able to resolve their differences or merge their beliefs together to create something that works for them or you as a couple. Um, yeah, something's going on where you guys are different. It's different, but it works. Maybe one person is religious and the other person is spiritual, but it works. Um, the spirit, the religious person isn't going to force you to go to go to church. The spiritual person isn't going to force you to um, burn candles, you know. So whatever it is, you guys are finding a happy medium and it works. Um, also, there could be two opposite situations where someone comes from um, uh, the projects and the other person comes from the middle class. Or, um, so yeah, difference in social class, race, height, weight, uh, anything, but it works. I feel there's going to be a need to sculpt or define uh, the relationship that works for you. Or if this is about yourself, this is you defining who you are. And instead of just what society says, maybe it's a blend of both. Those of you that are dealing with any type of, of um, legalities or things dealing with rules and structure, I feel like you are going to find a way to make something work for you. Mm hmm. Mm. I feel too like some of you are meant to inspire, meant to be motivational speakers, um, meant to be teachers or givers of information. Some of you are also maybe meant to be healers. It could be a spiritual healer or it can be a literal healer, um, you know, a doctor or a nurse, someone that works in that type of a field. Um, I'm also getting leadership abilities. Um, Career-wise, I feel that you may have felt like you've been doing all the work and no one's paying attention and you're not appreciated, but I feel that you will be recognized for all the hard work that you do. So either you may get a promotion, um, a raise, um, if you're looking for a job, I feel like you're going to get called in for an interview and they like you. Um, you might stand out or shine like the spotlight's going to be on you and I feel like you're going to be standing out. I feel like some of you are also going to be invited to some sort of uh, some sort of event. Somebody I feel like someone works in government. You could get some sort of offering from the government. I don't know if this is a job offer or a financial offer um, or assistance, but I feel like you're you can have you can have something from the government. Mm. Hmm. Maybe some of you are learning about the government and politics or how to govern your own land. I'm getting something about your own land. You know, this is far-fetched, but I'm getting the energy of someone who maybe wants their own government, their own society. It's actually making me think of um, some show I was watching and it, it was bizarre, but these people had their own 
land in the middle of some sort of I don't know if it was like Arizona or Las Vegas it seemed like one of those deserty type areas and there was like a little township where these people governed their own their own land and <laughs> they kind of were acting like um the 1800s um so it was kind of corny, but it was also kind of cool that these people were in charge of their own little uh, land. So I don't know if some of you are like really into that, but that's that's kind of what I'm getting. If it's not that extreme, then this is something like maybe you are thinking about getting a piece of property, whether it's business or residential, um, or you are looking uh, studying how to get your uh, what is that I've been talking about it um, what is that called oh my god when you are detached from the government system and you become sovereignty oh my god I couldn't think of it so maybe some of you are doing some sort of research on how to get your own sovereignty and you're learning a lot and maybe you're filling out applications I see you guys overall just kind of taking care of responsibilities I do see you being relieved of any type of burdens um, I feel like the truth is coming out or someone is telling the truth someone is standing in their truth they're like this is who I am this is the honest to God truth you also may be under oath or asked to take an oath Especially if you're invited to join some sort of group or organization. Mm. You may be thinking about opening a school. I'm getting something about ownership and individuality um, and leadership. So I feel like that's what you're your focus is on now also going back to relationships I feel like maybe someone is um, ready for commitment um, this or this is something that they're thinking about or that's something that's just going to be a highlighted discussion like are you ready for commitment are you ready for um, marriage or how do we make this commitment our own Hmm. I feel like someone's also applying for something that it seems like I'm getting something like adopted. So I don't know if someone wants to adopt or if it's even just an adopt a pet or a plant. <laughs> applying for a star or a street name. Somebody's getting a star in their name, like on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, or someone is getting some sort of recognition, like it's official, like a Grammy or going into the Hall of Fame. Mm. Somebody is being immortalized. I feel like someone's going to be immortalized. Now, that might be something into the far future. For some of you, or I don't know, maybe there is someone that, you know, has status or fame that you know, or it's you. And I feel like something is going to be like you're going to be immortalized some type of way. Um, but especially like um, the Hollywood star, like I'm seeing the star. Uh, and it's, it's like this makes it official, like I'm official, I'm officially in the history books or I'm officially a star like something of that sort is going on um, or this can be like when someone gets a street name a street name a street name um, when you, you when you adopt a street or something so I, I feel like something like that is going on also if you're looking for something it's near a historical street now I don't know the colors that that, that that they are in other states or cities I know where I'm from I'm currently in Arizona but I'm from Chicago and usually those street names are brown 
or I think blue, brown or blue, um, when someone, you know, has their name added on to the street in addition to. So I kind of feel like something like that is going on. Like someone, if you're looking for something, it's, it's around an adopted street name or a historical figure. Mm. Okay, I heard Paul Revere for somebody. I don't know what that means for you. Uh, those of you that are teachers, someone's giving a lecture or that's someone's blood, someone's bloodline, someone's related to Paul Revere. Don't ask me who Paul Revere is. I just know the Beastie Boys rapped about him. And that's, that beat was so dope back then. <laughs> I mean, I know a little bit about Paul Revere, but not enough to be, you know, talking. I just heard the name. That's not, I'm just a messenger. I heard the name Paul Revere. So, and I feel like somebody is related to him. Someone is also finding out that they are, um, like, Asian descent. I feel like there is some sort of celebration. Something is going to happen around a holiday. Winter solstice, uh, so that around a Christmas holiday. I don't know what's going to happen. I would just say something significant. Maybe some sort of information uh, comes out for you around that time. Or you get hired around that time. Or you relocate around that time. Or you get married around that time. You hear from someone around that time. Someone's going to be uh, healed around that time, too. Like, someone's officially going to be ready to date or enter a relationship around that time. Someone's moving into a new apartment complex or a condominium. It's, it's a gated community. Or someone is moving out of their gated community. I also feel like someone lives around cobblestone bricks. Mm, some of you guys are super um, sexually frustrated. And that's a burden. And some of you, it makes you sad. I know having Venus and Scorpio, it makes me sad. Have you ever looked at porn and cried? <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. But I'm just saying, Venus and Mars and Scorpio, single, two years. Kind of sad sometimes. <laughs> like, that's my love language. Some people are like, sex and love are different. Not for Venus and Scorpio. It's got to blend in. It's like temperance. It blends a little bit. It kind of goes hand in hand. Um, <laughs> no, but seriously, let me go on. I mean, I was serious, but... Back to your reading. Um, now, I also feel that for whatever reason, someone's trying to get your attention, but you are ignoring this person at all costs, or you are avoiding them or just trying to keep yourself busy. Um, I feel like you guys are trying to move on from someone you're trying to let someone go but it's just it's really hard at the same time I feel like you are just kind of following the path of destiny you're like well this is my destiny this is what I need to do um, but I do feel like the truth is gonna come out or something's gonna happen where you're happy and you don't feel you don't feel under stress anymore or burdened anymore. Let me look at this matter of fact. Let me see what this is. Now I'm also getting an age difference.
somebody's gathering their things and they are moving out or moving in. There's a move taking place. And I feel like someone is excited about it though. This is like a positive change. Someone is also, yeah, I feel that if you've been having a hard time moving on from someone, you finally get it out your system, you finally moved on, I feel like you are going to feel free. Um, it's a big weight being lifted off of you because you finally have been able to move on. If someone's been ignoring you, it's because they finally moved on from you. Uh, but someone is now kind of single and ready to mingle. I just really feel like that's what someone's ready to do. They're like, okay, I'm not stuck on this. I don't have that burden anymore. I'm ready to move on. Um... That's just the same thing being reiterated to me. Something about the truth is coming out. Or something's going to be confirmed. You also might have a dream or a premonition before something happens. This also looks like some sort of uh, wish fulfillment. Because something will be established. Like it will be established or confirmed. Um, where you stand with someone. It's like you don't know where you stand. And I feel like you are going to have clarity about where you stand. Mm, someone's definitely been trying to get your attention or you've been trying to get theirs. Looks like you blocked or moved on from somebody. If someone's been holding on to divorce papers, I feel like they're finally going to sign them. If this is a new relationship, I feel like you guys are going to make something official. So, you know, it's like having that title. Like, you now you know, when you introduce this person, you'll know what to say. It won't be awkward. Like, oh, this is my colleague or this is my friend. But speaking of colleagues, something could start off as a business or platonic. Oh, I didn't mean for this one to be so long. I'm sorry. Ooh, somebody is learning about occult, um, spiritual spells, ancient spells, secrets, how to bring somebody back. Necro, what's that something about the dead? Necro, necro something. I feel like I'm, I know I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Necro something. Maybe some of you are um, studying some things about an author that is into that type of occult. Uh, what's his name? Love JP somebody. Oh my God. It's, I'm running like all blanks. Lovecraft. Ooh, the pages of my books just went up when I said that, too. Mmm, sorcery, witches, brujas. <laughs> I feel like some of you come from a bloodline of witches or uh, wizards or whatever you want to call it. Male, female, witch. <laughs> uh, I know they have different names depending on, you know, what you want to call it, but shaman runs in the blood um some of you are obligated to fulfill some sort of um what do you call it family obligation something runs in the family and you're supposed to carry out this legacy mm. Some of you really believe in generational curses, and I feel like you're trying to fix that or resolve that. And it does look like things will be restored or a debt will be paid off. All right, that is enough. I did not mean to go that long. So let's move on to deck number two. 
Ooh, saw something about a water sign too. All right. We have the Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Overall Energy, Page of Pentacles, Judgment, and Seven of Swords. Oh, I think someone literally has a judgment against them that you need to get off of your record. Um, there's some sort of judgment. Get that off of your record. Um, I feel like it's going to be called out or rediscovered. It's, I don't know what it is that you're applying to. It's some sort of a background check. Uh, I don't know if you're trying to get an apartment there's a judgment on your record that you need to clear off. If it's already been taken care of, you need to um, make sure that you have the documents to prove it or something. Um, matter of fact, anything that you've been hiding or lying about, I feel like it's going to get called out. Either if, if you've been doing it or someone around you. I feel too like someone is calling you either under a private number, unknown number. I feel like someone's also lurking and wants you to notice them. Someone is ready to talk, but maybe the way they're expressing it is a little... Um, confusing mm, I feel like someone is also waiting to be discovered now that might have something to do with career because it does look I'm just looking at how she's holding that instrument um, and I feel like someone is trying to stand out um, so I feel like career wise especially more so in an artistic world singer actors dancers um, someone's trying to get discovered. Um, someone is slipping their music to someone uh, some type of way. I don't know how they do it nowadays, but I just feel like someone has like a demo. I'm thinking about EPMD. Please listen to my demo. Plup, 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 please listen to my demo. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay, but... Um, I feel like somebody is like trying to slip their music or their audition tape to somebody or someone is slipping into an audition. They're not supposed to be there. Um, something's going on where I do feel like someone's going to get called out. Now, it's good, though. Something works because I feel like you got money coming in. You are going to start working. Uh, I feel like an offer is being made to you. There's an exchange of services going on. So I feel like you guys are getting ready to receive uh, big money or, or something that at least gives you a sense of security. You're like, oh, okay, at least I have enough for a rainy day. Not saying rich, but it's like you might be. But the, the point is that you have enough set back for a rainy day. Um... You could be getting offered any type of job. It doesn't just have to be entertainment. But I feel like you are getting offered some sort of work. You get paid for your services. And it's enough where you're sitting sitting comfortable, sitting pretty. You know, guys, you know, you get it. But it's just like, yeah, you're comfortable. Um, even if you have to take some sort of an entry-level position, it pays off. It's worth it. Um, I feel like somebody lied about their application and they might get caught, caught out about it. Like, did you really go to Harvard? No, but I just, 
I'm sorry, but you know, I just still feel like they're like, well, I appreciate that aggressiveness. I don't know what happens, but it just seems like something like maybe you didn't tell the truth or you, you withheld something or you did something in an underhanded way, but I feel like it pays off. It works. Um, like even some, someone that had to lie about their age of to get a certain type of position and it's just like oh you they're, they're asking especially if you act or something it's like oh man they said they're looking somebody from 18 to you know to 20 i'm 30 years old but if you look like you 20 years old go audition for that you're gonna get hired um so i do get that in this case a white lie pays off um unfortunately <laughs> hopefully it's not a white lie where somebody lied about being single and they're like really in a fully established relationship but it worked because it, it got your number it could be that um but this can also be like a surprise engagement too like maybe for some of you, you're getting ready to get proposed to and they had to lie to you. They couldn't tell you, you know, what they were doing home early or they couldn't tell you why they had to cancel this or cancel that. It's it, because, you know, it's, it's going to be an engagement. And for some some of you is, that knows about it, it's like hard to to keep it from coming out. Like maybe somebody's like. Are they going to propose to me? Do you know something I don't know? And you're like, uh, no, no, no. You know, so I kind of feel like something like that also could be happening, like a surprise engagement. Um, either way, you guys are going to have security. There could be a fire sign coming towards you and you feel like this the fire sign is everything. The only thing is that it depends on what you're looking for. This is for those of you that are looking for something more in alignment of practicality. Like you're not really paying attention to your heart right now. You're like, I need to focus on what is practical. I need to focus on the reality. And I feel like that's where a decision is being based off of. So it could be a fire sign is coming towards you because you are the practical choice. Um, or you are going towards somebody because it's a practical choice. Not saying that this person doesn't love you or you don't love somebody, but it's just it makes the most sense. Um, could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or any sign towards Virgo, Capricorn. But those are the two that are standing out. Somebody also is not as innocent as they appear. Somebody is like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm. If you enter a relationship where you're wondering where you're going to meet, where you might meet someone, I feel like it could definitely be through work. Um, if not work, then through uh, family especially extended family like cousins, aunts, uncles, uh, in-laws, or you could meet someone through um, community. Now you guys also may be spending a lot of money too, but that's because you have it to spend. Um, because you are financially secure, you might, I almost feel like the minute somebody gets hired and it's official that they work for this job, like it's like they just get a con, let's say it's a music contract. I just got my contract today. I'm going to buy a house tomorrow. You know, it's just like somebody is immediately spending like a big chunk of money because they have it now. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Also, romantically, uh, your love interest could start off as a business transaction, a business partnership, co-worker. Ooh. Somebody is fighting their desires or their attraction towards the other person, but it's getting to be very intense. Um... Especially in a situation where 
you know, somebody is supposed to be off limits. They're already in a relationship. And this is the main reason why they're trying to push you away. And the, the reason why you are trying to push them away, like you can feel the chemistry, but you're like, I'm not getting in that situation. I feel like there may be a strong, intense attraction to somebody who's already taken. Mm. I do feel like there's going to be some sort of ease that comes that follows after a tense moment um i'm getting something about easter i don't know if that's someone's birthday or if that's when an event is going to come up I'm also getting this name. It keeps saying Peter. I don't know who knows anyone named Peter, um, but maybe that is is significant for you. Maybe that's the name of the company. Maybe that's a Bible verse. Okay, so someone, whoever is coming towards you romantically, I feel like they're being very flirty, but at the same time, they're serious. And they also might be, I feel like the energies are kind of mixed, like they're acting out of their element. So if someone is an earth sign, they're acting like a fire sign. If someone is a fire sign, they're acting like an earth sign. But they're serious. And I feel like someone's determined. I feel like there's someone that's been thinking about you or meditating or just waiting for the right moment. I feel like someone's praying for clarity and praying that they make the right decision before they act out. Also, anyone that is that has a secret, I feel like they're asking themselves, should they share this secret? If so, when should they share it? If someone has a secret to share, I feel like they're going to share it first by giving um, a scenario or an example like they're giving you like a false, they're setting up like a false, you know, I forget what, what else, it's another word for it. Um, but they're setting that up for you. Um, it's scenario, but it's just another word for it. And so the, I feel like they're trying to feel you out or wanting to see a response first. And then they're going to... Um, come forward with the truth so they might approach you like what if you met the love of your life but they were in a relationship or what if you met the love of your life but um you know they were older than you like i don't know i just kind of feel like somebody is giving like a false scenario and asking you what would you do before they come out and and tell you but that they're kind of like setting it up But this also could be your energy and something that you end up doing. You're like, let me give it to them this way first and see what they say. Like one of those hypothetical situations, asking for a friend, you know, type situation. Asking for a friend. Asking for myself. Those of you that have to go into work and see somebody that you like, 
I feel like it's stressful every day. You're like, oh my God, I don't want to see this person. Not because you can't stand them, just because of the tension. I feel like some of you are also dizzy or hearing like ringing in your ears. You also may be in denial of what you feel for somebody. Mm. Somebody that you left behind may reappear. Someone that you cut off. Hopefully it's not anyone that you don't want to hear from. Mm. Someone also either travels for a living there's some sort of a driver or uh, could be a pilot, could be a train conductor. Um, but whatever it is, I feel like someone travels or drives for a living. Um, I'm also getting someone who is maybe like a mechanic. Someone gets nervous every time they see their me mechanic. They're like, oh, I like my mechanic. Or a service person, someone who does service work, but especially more so dealing with the vehicles. And that's the dirty work. Maybe someone also does like, you know, paperwork, works at the department of vehicles, <laughs> the state department. I couldn't think of the name. That's why I'm just like, uh, I feel too, like at the end of the, at the end of the day, you're going to get what it is that you ask for. You might also be seeing hummingbirds. I think those are good omens for love. I heard something about berries, but like, is it go berries? Goo berries? I don't know. Let's start with a G. I don't know if somebody just puts that in their drink or what, makes smoothies. Some of you are also either paying off debts or being forgiven of a debt. Um, so those of you that have been working on your credit report, um, on your credit, I feel like come around the next credit report, something will have fallen off or it's being removed. Hmm. I also feel those of you that did not get some sort of response from a job like you're going to hear from them they're going to call you back or if it's a person this person's going to if you haven't heard from someone uh, or if you feel like someone's been ignoring you they are going to come into your life very unexpectedly and this person I feel like is a water sign Cancer Scorpio or Pisces um, I don't feel like they've really been ignoring you. Maybe that's what you thought. They've actually been trying to get your attention, but you didn't notice. And now this person is just going to say something loud and clear. They're like, let me be clear for you. Yeah. So I feel like you guys are also just in general on the brink of success. Someone's been struggling to reach you or to get your attention is just what I keep getting. Um, also, if anyone owes you an, an, an apology or an explanation, they're going to give it to you or you will, if you feel that you're the one that owes someone an apology or an explanation, you'll be reaching out to them. Someone wants to do the right thing. They want to clear the air. 
clear their name. They want to get something out of the way. And I also feel that your spirit guides have been trying to push you out of your comfort zone to get you to do something that you don't normally do. So something that you don't normally do, I feel like you are being asked to do it. Um, and I see you responding to uh, spirit. All right, so let's move on to deck number three. We have the Queen of Athens. I forgot how to say it again. Athens, the Holy King, King of Wands, the Oak King, um, and the Harvest. Overall energy, King of Chalices. High Priestess and the Crone. It's been taking a lot for someone to keep a secret or to keep something quiet. Um, I feel like someone's been planning on sharing something with you or you've been planning on sharing something with someone. Um, I feel like someone's also been brewing something up in the dark brewing up an attraction spell, um, making some sort of products in secret. I just see like something has been planned in secret. Uh, I also feel like somebody's been leaving offerings out for their ancestors or someone has literally been going to like grave sites and leaving uh, flowers or maybe even pouring out liquor, like something's going on where someone is honoring the dead. So there's um, a lot of ceremonial things going on. Um, I get something about being prepared. Those of you that are on spiritual paths, I feel like you have, you're being groomed or you're being prepared for the next phase in spirituality. Um, so you also may have been going through a hard time because it looks like you've been, you know, having to have a lot of courage and strength to go through the things that you've been going through or experience these things that you've been experiencing. But it's all, you know, for a greater cause. Now, there's something going on with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe, um, ooh, fire too, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe a Virgo. Hmm, I feel like someone has been dreaming about you or thinking about you or you've been dreaming about someone coming towards you. Um, hmm, I'm seeing divination. So some of you have been having premonitions or you've been um, reading cards, tea leaves, scrying, anything that has to do with divination. Trying to predict the future. I feel too like maybe someone's been trying to communicate with you telepathically, but especially through dreams. Sometimes spiritually I see like a portal opening and this portal makes it so that two people can come together. Um, I'm getting something too in regards to mirror magic, someone using mirror magic to communicate to someone. That also might be something that you need to do. That might be your niche. Like there's a lot of forms of divination. For some of you, I feel like it's gonna be about mirror magic and, and tea leaves. Like if you've never done that before, try it. Mm. Now I also feel that you guys are going to have an abundance of material things or things that just give you comfort. I feel like you guys are also trying to uh, get your health in order. 
I feel like your health is going to re be restored, like you're eating healthy. You guys also seem like you're taking care of the home front. If you're noticing little things moving around, uh, I do feel like it's either spirits or fairies. Those of you, I know everyone doesn't believe in that, but I do feel like it's an interdimensional being that can come and go um, through portals. Yeah. Something about that is being emphasized to me too. Like a door is opening, like something is a doorway, a passage is being opened. I don't know if you are learning how to open this or if it's just an opportunity that opens up for you and you take advantage of it. Also, anything that you have been putting off, um, like you're going to get another opportunity to complete something. It takes a lot of courage to confront someone or it takes a lot of courage to deal with the situation that you're in or getting ready to enter. It's saying that you can do it, though, so be brave. Now, also, this can be about somebody coming towards you, especially if there's any unfinished business. It's like it takes a lot of courage for someone to speak their mind. I feel like someone, this is off topic, I feel like someone is ordering some new boots or someone really enjoys their knee-high boots. They go up really high. They're like tall boots. I feel like you guys are also going to get trapped into something. Something is like a trap. Not in necessarily a bad way. I just feel like someone is leaving a trap for you and you fall into it or you fall for it. I feel too like before fall is out that something significant significant is going to happen. You've been needing to understand something from a different perspective. You you've needed to understand that your situation has a higher calling, whether it's a relationship or the type of work that you're doing, or if you're wondering why something was delayed, I feel like because it was a higher calling or something, you needed to understand it from a higher perspective before you could continue forward. I almost feel like a situation is going on where spiritually you keep getting tested and it's not so much that you fail, but it, it kind of is. It's just like spirit doesn't say you failed. It's just like, thank you for your answers. Um, we're going to call you back in a minute. You know, it's just like when you apply for a credit card and you know whether or not off the bat you've been declined or approved. When you get approved, you're told right away. When you get declined, it's like, thanks for applying. We'll get back to you within seven to ten business. Like, <laughs> I feel like something like that has been happening. It's just like, oh, I wasn't approved or, oh, I didn't pass. I feel like you're going to have another opportunity again. <laughs> it's like, OK, either you can apply for something again because maybe, you know, your your credit looks better now. Um, or maybe you get to uh, correct a relationship or maybe you applied for a job, you didn't hear anything. I just feel like you're gonna get called back again. You weren't necessarily denied something, it's just like, let's just wait. Um, you're not quite ready. We'll call you back when we think you're ready again. So something's going on where it's like, okay, you've had time to think, you've had time to reflect uh, what's your answer gonna be this time. Mm. I'm seeing something about a flower arrangement. I don't know if that's what someone does for a living. Um, or, yeah, like if someone has a business where there's a flower arrangement shop. Um, or, like I was saying, something about a headstone. If someone is, you know, leaving flowers or there's some sort of flower arrangement in regards to um, a funeral or just going to a grave site. You guys have also been doing a lot of soul searching here. 
Hmm. Some of you have been trying to understand the true meaning of, uh, of Christmas. Like you're doing some sort of research on that. Mm, you're also doing some sort of research about astrology. You are either trying to find out information about an air sign or an air sign is trying to find out information about you. But I also feel like maybe uh, a fire sign is involved too. Hmm. I feel too like something's going on where you may be comparing two people two different personalities together or you're comparing the information that you're getting back from each person and then you're going to make some sort of decision so I don't know what that's for um, if you're a hiring manager maybe you're reading you know two different applications um, if you are debating who you want to date or go forward with maybe you're comparing these two energies together um, I feel like for some of you, you are on a path of enlightenment, so you're wanting to move towards whoever is on the same path as you. Even if it's not a path of enlightenment, you just want someone that's on that same path, but it definitely looks like enlightenment. You're like, who's on the same path of enlightenment as me? Mm. Hmm. Those of you that get a lot of downloads in your dreams, like be prepared for that. I feel like you're being prepared for something. Something's getting ready to manifest. If anyone has been distant or guarded with you, I feel like they're ready to talk again. Those of you that do gardening, I feel like it's time uh, to, to dig something up or time to pluck something like it's ready or it's ripe now. like someone is ready to open up and share their feelings yeah someone you might not even be aware of it but I feel like somebody has been thinking about you someone's been uh, planning on coming forward um, and now they have the time or now they're just ready now I'm getting also someone who has a beard I'm getting a man who has dark features like dark hair um, dark eyebrows beard mustache mm. yeah Something was destined. It was destined that you got a phone call from someone or it's destined that you had a conversation with someone. And I was just talking about like these portals open up, opening up. I feel like that, again, is being reiterated. Um, on a mundane level, I guess the portal is more so like a door opening or some sort of opportunity is coming your way. And you've already been prepared for this. So don't act brand new. You stand out from the rest. Something you're doing has got the attention of some sort of prospects. This might be in business or romantic situation. But I feel like you've got someone's attention and they're coming towards you. They're going to proposition you with something. Do you want a relationship with me? Do you want to start a business with me? Do you want to work for me? Um, yeah. 
those of you that have been going through some sort of court issues or legalities, uh, I feel like something was out for judgment or more information was needed. And now that information has been collected and gathered and analyzed, the verdict, a verdict has been reached. Um, so I don't know what your court situation was. I just feel like it's more so about you having clarity and you having a fight for what you believe in and you didn't back down. So you're coming off as the victor in a situation. It could be child custody. Excuse me. It could be some sort of inheritance. Um, it could have been workers comp. If you don't get a direct answer yet, I feel like you're you're going to, but you have to fight for it. Someone around you is very has a um a wild imagination. Yeah, they're always imagining things, not in a delusional sense. They just like to remain mentally stimulated. They're always thinking, 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 thinking. I'm getting something about an illuminated path. But again, that's just about enlightenment. You might be coming off as one who brings enlightenment to others people are drawn to you for your light for your knowledge or you might find someone who you view as your teacher or a guru So if we are looking at this from a romantic point of view, yeah, someone is definitely, I want I don't know what I'm saying, handpicking. They're picking you because they connect with you. You guys are on the same path. You have the same goals in mind. Um, so if they have been comparing you to someone else, they're coming towards you. You made not only the most practical decision, um, but the most romantic decision too. So it all works out. I do feel like someone is ready for commitment or they're ready for a family or to move to the next phase with you. If this is more so professional, I feel like they choose you. They feel a connection with you, even more so if it wasn't what was on your resume, but just that connection that they had in an interview. Um, they just connected with you. So they're choosing you. Just it doesn't matter. They're like, I don't care. This is this is more on a personal sense, more than professional. I like I like connect with you. So someone is connecting with you. So they choose you. I feel that if you are someone that's in search of love or career, you find it. You're going to find that perfect relationship. That is your idea of perfection. Um, you're going to find that perfect home um, or that perfect job. So I feel like you're going to have a sense of fulfillment. But the, the central issue or the main reason why two people are coming together is because they're on the same spiritual journey. They belong to the same spiritual family. I'm getting something about hot and cold. It's, it's boring. It's interesting. Like something about polar opposites. Um... Someone also may come off, like when I said you're going to get trapped, you step into some sort of booby trap, I do feel like you end up walking into some sort of trap. Um, I also feel that from a male's perspective, something he's doing 
to make you hold on to him or so that he'll he's making it so that you'll never have to leave or it's like being indebted to someone i don't know if this is volunteer like someone is just like man i'm indebted to you forever um i kind of get like that type of energy mm. so i don't know if you feel like someone might feel like you saved their life or you feel that way it's like if it wasn't for you i feel like you saved somebody's life or you may have gotten someone out of darkness you help someone see the happy, the 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 good times in life again, or the bright side of life again. If you do get your dream job, it comes at a price. It's it's like a lot of hard work, but at the same time, this is something that you're passionate about. This is something that you dreamed about. Also, especially if you work in entertainment, then you know the lifestyle that comes along with that. Um, it's a lot of temptation, um, a lot of indulgence. And so it's up to you to maintain that balance. Somebody is turned on by someone's wisdom or knowledge. I'm getting like spirituality mixed with sexuality. Someone is very turned on by information and knowledge. It's like, oh my God, like their knowledge gives me a hard on or their knowledge makes me wet like something's going on like that um so yeah i mean what is that called i can't even think of the name a, a sapiosexual so someone might be sapiosexual um just like super turned on by uh knowledge and philosophies spirituality yeah so yeah basically those are the messages that i have for you guys like you're being led towards that path so just trust that path that you're on oh let me just kind of look at this old king really quickly oh, that's funny i was getting ready to say adam because i'm thinking about original man or alpha male so I don't know if you have some sort of alpha male that is thinking about you, watching you and just kind of uh, planning on coming forward, but of course not until they're ready. I also feel like someone's been holding out. Someone has been saving themselves for the right person. So somebody could have anybody that they want, but they want you. Um, so they're waiting for you. They're like, I don't, I can save myself. Yeah, somebody views you as the perfect image of a partnership. I also feel like something needs to come to an end before someone comes forward. It does look like having to let go of some sort of preconceived ideas uh, or any old beliefs that you could have been holding on to. Like that's going to come to an end. I also feel like those of you that dream or keep a dream journal, someone who's already crossed over has been communicating with you or trying to prepare you for what's to come. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting preparation and being prepared. Somebody's also been healing from a breakup or a separation. And now that they're healed, they're ready to, um, to date again or to be in a relationship. All right, so yeah, those are the messages that I have for you guys. So hopefully it resonates. Uh, feel free to leave feedback. Thank you guys all for watching. Cindy, love and grace.